Okay, here I'm going to solve 2 thirds minus 3x over 2 is equal to 4x plus 5 sixths. I really don't like this equation at all because of the fractions involved. I've got one, two, three fractions involved in this particular example. Let's get rid of the fractions. To do that, what I need to do is change the three fractions so they've all got the same bottom number. I work out what we call the LCM of the three numbers, 3, 2 and 6. The smallest number that 3, 2 and 6 will all go into is 6 itself. So LCM of 3, 2 and 6 is 6. So what I'm going to do is rewrite all the fractions with 6 on the bottom line. Leave the equals alone and do not touch the 4x in that position there. So let's go through each of the fractions in turn, changing the bottom line to 6. I need to double that 3 to get a 6, so I double the 2, you get 4. I need to treble that 2 to get 6, so I treble the 3x to get 9x. So 2 thirds is the same as 4 6. It looks different, but it's the same fraction. 3 over 2x is the same as 9 over 6x. It looks different, but it is the same fraction. Leave the 4x alone. And then the 5 6, well that's already over 6, so I don't need to change it. So leave it alone, 5 6. I've now got a string of 1, 2, 3 fractions involved, but they all are over 6. I can get rid of all those over 6's by simply multiplying every single term in the equation by 6. So I times by 6 throughout. If I times that by 6, the share by 6 disappears. So 4 share by 6 just becomes 4. Take away 9x share by 6. If you times it by 6, the share by 6 disappears. Get minus 9x. Now don't forget, you need to times that by 6 as well. So 4x does not stay as 4x. Times it by 6, you get 24x. Times this by 6, the share by 6 disappears, you get plus 5. So we've ended up with all the fractions disappearing. Which side's got most x's? The right hand side is 24x, so I'm going to take the x's to the right. 24x stays put, minus 9x goes over, becomes a plus 9x. The numbers go to the left, it doesn't matter which one you put first. The 4 is already on the left, stays put, doesn't swap sides, doesn't swap sign, 4. The plus 5 becomes a negative 5 on the left. Let's tidy up, 4 take 5 is minus 1 on the left and you get 33 x's on the right hand side. I don't want 33 x's, I want x. So I share the right hand side by 33, so you share the, one, the minus 1 by 33 on the left. That's an awkward answer, so leave it as a fraction. Minus 1 over 33 is your solution.